In our last video, we exposed the harsh realities of the container home dream, the hidden costs, the structural nightmares, and the financial traps that can turn a vision of freedom into a rusty, expensive failure. It's easy to feel discouraged, to believe the dream is impossible. But what if the problem isn't the container itself, but the plan? What if, armed with the right knowledge, you could navigate every single one of those traps? Today, we're not talking about problems. We're building the solution. This is the blueprint for turning that financial trap into a triumph of smart design. The entire success of your project begins with one critical decision, choosing the right box. Forget the cheap, rust-covered containers you see advertised. The smart choice and the only one you should seriously consider for a home is the one-trip container. These are essentially brand new, having made only a single voyage. They are free from the dense, corrosion, and toxic pesticide-treated floors that plague older units. Yes, they cost more up front, but this initial investment saves you an astronomical amount in repairs, floor replacement, and rust treatment down the line. Before you buy, inspect it personally. Look for a clean interior, intact door seals, and a solid, straight frame. Starting with a perfect foundation isn't just a recommendation, it's the first and most important rule. Your perfect container is worthless if it's sitting on a flawed base. The second rule is to master the foundation, and the primary goal is simple. Get the steel off the ground. Placing a container directly on soil is a guaranteed recipe for rust, as moisture will inevitably get trapped underneath. The smart solution is to elevate it. A simple and cost-effective method is a pier foundation, using concrete columns to lift the container at its four strong corner posts. This creates a crucial air gap underneath, allowing moisture to escape and preventing the steel underbelly from corroding over time. It also makes running plumbing and utilities significantly easier. A solid, elevated foundation isn't just about stability, it's the best long-term life insurance you can buy for your container home. Now, for the rule that solves the metal box problem of extreme temperatures and condensation. The common mistake is to insulate from the inside, which eats up valuable living space and can still trap moisture against the steel walls. The superior, professional method is the outside-in approach. By applying a rigid insulation system to the exterior of the container, you create a complete thermal break. This completely separates the cold steel from the warm interior air, eliminating condensation, the primary cause of rust and mold. This method, often called an outsolation or rain screen system, allows you to keep the beautiful industrial corrugated steel look on the inside if you wish, while maximizing every inch of interior space. It's a bigger job initially, but it's the only way to guarantee a dry, comfortable, and rust-free home for decades to come. This is the rule that separates a budget-conscious build from an engineering money pit. You have to design with the container, not against it. Remember, a container's strength is in its original, uncut form. The smartest and most cost-effective designs are those that celebrate this strength and minimize structural modifications. Instead of cutting out entire walls to create a large open plan space, which requires massive and expensive steel reinforcement, think smarter. Can you use multiple containers side by side, removing only the interior non-structural walls? Can you place large windows and doors at the ends of the container, where the structure is already framed for an opening? By working with the inherent strengths of the box, you can create a beautiful, light-filled space without waging an expensive war against its fundamental engineering. So, with all these rules and considerations, 
When does a container home really make sense? The sweet spot isn't trying to build a massive family home cheaper than a traditional house. The real advantage emerges in smaller, more specific applications. Think of a remote, off-grid cabin where the container's robust, self-contained structure can be delivered to a site where traditional construction is difficult. Or a backyard art studio, a home office, or a workshop, where its compact, modular nature is a perfect fit. It also shines in projects that intentionally embrace its raw, industrial aesthetic. By targeting these sweet spot scenarios, you play to the container's strength its mobility, durability, and unique look, rather than fighting its weaknesses, ensuring your project is not only successful, but genuinely advantageous. Building a container home isn't a shortcut, but it doesn't have to be a trap. It's a specialized construction project that rewards careful planning and intelligence. The smart blueprint is clear. Start with a high-quality one-trip container. Elevate it on a solid foundation. Insulate from the outside to protect the steel and maximize space. And finally, design your home to celebrate the container's inherent strength, not to fight it. By following these core principles, you move away from the myth of a cheap home and towards the reality of a well-engineered, durable, and truly unique living space. You're no longer just buying a box, you're executing a smart plan. We hope this two-part series has armed you with the real-world knowledge to tackle a container project with confidence. If this guide was valuable to you, let us know with a like and make sure you're subscribed to Container Curious for more deep dives. We've covered the what, the why, and the how. But what about the who? Have you ever wondered about the massive companies and secretive billionaires who own the world's shipping fleets? Let us know in the comments if you want us to follow the money next.